All right, what's up you guys? I am here at Koa Spear Guns headquarters. Now, my little brother, Blue Gabe, as many of you know, he started his channel on YouTube and he's growing like a weed. Well, Sunday after church, he and my brother, Aubrey, AKA Brita Mas Grande, they were like, come on, let's go spear fishing. And so I was like, dude, I'm going home to sit on the couch and hang out. By the way, that's Chris right there. Um, so, they go out spear fishing. He speared some snapper and some trigger fish, but he missed literally like five or six times. And he's like, I don't know what's wrong with this piece of junk. He's like, I want to get a koa. I am buying a spear gun for Gabe, for Blue Gabe, right now. Because today, later on today, we're going to the Crystal River. We're going to go spear some gag groupers. So, let's see what he's making. This right here is a standard koa roller. A roller front end. I'm just putting in the mech right now. Most people don't realize how much work goes into making one of these spear guns. They're actually made all over next door. We're here in Lake Park, Florida. It's about 15, 20 minutes from Jupiter, my hometown. You live in Jupiter, don't you? Yeah. Oh, uh, well, I just moved uh, north to Sports Lake. There you go. Stir. All right. <laughs> Drop a thumbs up if you think I need to buy Brito Mas Grande a Koa roller gun for Christmas because that would make him cry. Word of the wise, a properly crimped crimp is very important. You don't just smash them on there. You want that to be a perfect crimp. In order to do that, you need to be using the right crimp and the right tool. While he finishes that up, I'm gonna take you next door and show you how they make some of this stuff. comes y'all. Is it all done? All done. All right, that's who you got to thank. That's Mr. Chris. That's Mr. John from Koa Spear Guns. Oh. It's always cool to come by. See the guys, these are handcrafted pieces of art made right here in North Palm Beach, Lake Park. Is it yeah. Lake Park? Riviera Beach. Riviera Beach. But uh, they're made in our hometown and I would say that this is the best spear gun in the entire world. So, yes, got one for Gabe. I'm gonna be getting one for Brito. So all three of you see this video, Merry Christmas. Sucka, we're heading to Crystal River. All right, you guys, check this out. Gabe just got here. I'm gonna take him and give him his gun right now. We're, we just loaded up the boat and we're getting ready to head out. Mr. Blue Gabe, there he is. What are you filming Merry for? Christmas, brother. Oh, look at that bad boy. Holy mackerel. I got a, uh, I got a slip tip that goes on there. Look at that. I've shot yours one time and it was the baddest thing I've ever shot. And I probably would have hit that giant amberjack yesterday if I had it. Now let's go put it to use. Where are we headed? Crystal River. I'm excited, thank you very much. No worries, I got you and Aubrey one. Did you give me that cocker? Cause the last time I didn't know how to, I'm up here reaching up here. You know they make a device for this. And you're good. <laughs> Now, we're getting ready to head with the boat and Gabe and the truck and PK and mom and Sarah and the girls. We're heading to Crystal River. We're gonna go on an epic spearfishing trip. But anytime you're going on a trip like this, you gotta make sure your boat, your trailer is in good shape. And I just had the whole boat taken care of. All right, so we are down here in Boynton Beach right now. 
And as I've told you, we're getting ready to start trailering the boat all over creation. The thing is, if you're gonna trailer your boat, you've gotta be prepared. As you can see, I've already got a bearing that looks like it's going bad. It spun the cap off, slung grease everywhere. And I found a company down here called Airtight. Um, I researched the best trailer bearings, the best trailer hubs. This is the company I found. They've got great reviews. And uh, my friend Paul Cablin at Ingle Coolers also highly recommended them. So they're gonna take these tires off, put those on, and uh, hopefully we'll be good to go. You can see how they got hot. Anytime you see that discoloration, that means the bearing is getting hot, and that's not what you're looking for. Gotcha. So this trailer is literally not even a year old, and the brake is already jacked up. It drives me crazy. So because we had an issue with my calipers, we're gonna go ahead and put on one of his new calipers just as an added protection. So a lot of y'all may think like, why in the heck am I showing this? To the younger folks watching the channel, I promise you, once you start trailering a boat, your bearings are what get you back and forth. If you do not have good bearings, you do not get back and forth and you get very frustrated and you wind up spending a lot of money while sitting on the side of the road. These uh, stainless steel brake pads won't expand. That is one year old. Just bought brand spanking new, one year old. So it's always better to upgrade it if you can with, with the stainless steel brake pads for a little bit more money. Uh, it'll save you a lot, okay? Spindles are in good shape, huh? Yes, uh-huh. That's what you don't want. And we're gonna put again 360 bonding agent. The only, re he's not a sponsor, he's not a partner. I just showed up here and bought this stuff. But I'm showing y'all this video because it's interesting and informative to me. So if it's informative to me, I would imagine it would be informative to y'all. As we grease the Zerk fitting and we purge any kind of metal shavings and any old grease that's inside the system. It's gone. I lay a bead on the spindle and then I lubricate the spindle and the bushing. We always want to start the seals wet. Then they'll take, they'll take over from there. You never want to start any seal dry. So what you normally do is you tighten the castle nut tight, as tight as you can. Ultimately, you want to get to about 50 foot pounds. Well, not everybody has a torque wrench. You loosen it up and you run it back. And you don't want any free play, but you don't want it to be um, too tight also. Right now, uh, if anything, this is perfect, okay, right here. It's, it, it will loosen up over time because of the, the you know, gravity. Uh, and friction, okay, but uh, as, as, the, as the bearings seat in. But you don't want it too tight to start out either, so that's perfect right there. Okay, these caps are stainless. They're a little, a little, little bit more rigid, so we use a mini sledgehammer to put the stainless caps on. And there's a tool, there's a tool you could buy. We made this one here, but there's a cap driver you could put on there. So we hold it in there. Usually the second hit, it compresses it again, probably about six, seven thousandths, maybe even ten thousandths. Put our rotor on. Now, is that a brand new, that's a brand new rotor. Mm -hmm. Is it stainless or is it no, galvanized? This, this is just max. This is cast iron coated with a, with a dacrament coating. Now, is this your first time doing a full brake job like this? Uh, second. Dang, you must have stayed at a Holiday Inn Express last I night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a happy man, y'all. All new hub, new caliper, new hub, new seals, new bearings. To me, whenever I'm rolling down the road, my wife, my girls, we're all in the truck and I got the boat behind me. Having peace of mind is worth everything. It's so cool coming here and watching this guy. His name's Henry. 
and all his information will be in the description below. But it's awesome watching him be so passionate and meticulous about my brakes. Yeah, buddy. Do you see that white stuff is a material called Tef Gel. It is like the ultra corrosion block and anti-seize, it's just, it's good stuff. We already put grease in the football needle built into the diaphragm to lubricate it. So this is just a regular hand pump with a football needle, push it inside and I, just a half a squirt. Three quarters of an inch out to the dome is about five to 10 PSI internal pressure. Just like this sticker says right here. All right, you guys, so we made it here. We are at the plantation on Crystal River. And I just wanted to show you how awesome this is. But as long as I press that, see how there's air pressure in there? I know that my bearings are perfect and these things will last a lifetime because they're airtight. They keep the water out, they keep the dust out, they keep everything out. And I did that like six, seven, eight months ago. I've been trailering this boat everywhere, salt water, fresh water, dirt roads, you name it. And uh, to me, to be able to make it where I'm going, safe and sound is everything. Today on the way here, we saw the biggest car fire in the entire world. I mean, it was crazy. And whenever I went over and talked to the driver of that truck, he told me that he had a problem with his bearings on one of the axles on the trailer, which got hot, started a fire, and it was terrible. And that guy was a fan of the channel, which is crazy. Drop a thumbs up if you think I should call him, get in touch with him and take him fishing because everybody experiences a bad day from now to that, from time to time. But uh, we're going fishing in the morning and you're coming with me. We'll see you soon. Take care, God bless, we go.